Understanding the rebel in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're diving into the meaning and usage of the phrase, the rebel. This phrase is not only common in everyday English but also rich in cultural and historical connotations. So, let's unravel the mysteries of, the rebel, together. The rebel, refers to a person who resists or defies authority, control, or tradition. This resistance can be expressed in various forms, from peaceful protest to more radical actions. Rebels are often seen as nonconformists or individuals who stand against the status quo. Importantly, being a rebel doesn't always imply negative actions, it can also signify fighting for positive change or justice. Understanding the rebel also involves a look into history. Throughout different cultures and eras, rebels have played pivotal roles. They are often key figures in significant changes and revolutions. For example, famous rebels like Che Guevara or Joan of Arc are remembered for their defiance against established systems. This historical context adds depth to our understanding of what it means to be a rebel. In literature and media, the rebel is a popular character archetype. These characters often challenge societal norms, make bold decisions, and drive the narrative forward. From classic literature like Robin Hood to modern films and novels, rebel characters are compelling because they represent the human desire for freedom and individuality. In everyday English, calling someone a rebel can have various connotations depending on the context. It can be a compliment, suggesting someone is independent and brave. Alternatively, it might be used more critically, indicating someone is rebellious or difficult. Phrases like, he's such a rebel, or she has a rebellious spirit are common examples. The concept of a rebel varies across cultures. In some societies, being a rebel is highly esteemed, signifying courage and integrity. In others, it might be viewed negatively, associated with disobedience and trouble. Understanding these cultural nuances is crucial when using the phrase, the rebel, in an international context. I hope this exploration of, the rebel, has been enlightening and interesting. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and history they carry. Whether you're learning English for fun, for work, or for academic purposes, understanding phrases like this enriches your communication skills. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video where we'll uncover more intriguing aspects of the English language. Stay curious and keep learning!